Welcome everyone, it is Joe DeLong. We're back with another video, and today's video is actually a really special video. This right here is the very first lawnmower I ever learned how to cut lawns on. This is the Xmark Metro. Obviously, I'm not in Jersey, as you can see. There's a palm tree right here. I'm visiting my parents. They live right outside of North Myrtle Beach. So I wanna show you guys a little bit about the mower, do a little bit of a mowing montage video as well. So let's get started. So like I was saying, I'm visiting my parents. They live right outside of North Myrtle Beach. They moved down here uh, about three years ago to retire. Uh, cost of living down here is so much cheaper as opposed to Jersey. Um, they really do enjoy it down here. It, the only downside is not seeing their grandkids as much. So we try and get down here at least once a year to visit them. They do come up to visit us as well. But this is usually our annual trip around this time of the year, around the, the little late to mid August. So we got down here this week. This year I've been wanting to, last year I wanted to do a video like this as well. But this year I wanted, I told my dad, I wanna get this mower out. I wanna show people a little bit about Xmark. You guys always see, you know, the, uh, the other brands online. You always see that one brand. Just about every influencer, you know, has that brand out there. But I wanted to show you guys the Xmark and what it's really good for. So like I was saying, this is the Xmark Metro right here. It does have the floating deck system. I'll show you this guys in a second. It's really easy to adjust the height on it. Uh, it is belt driven. They do. They used. They did sell a hydraulic kind as well. Um, but this is a belt driven. It, the belt can slip up when they, you know, they get wet. Things like that. Um, it, it's a really solid uh, Kawasaki engine. Uh, it's a really solid engine. It still runs great to this day. Obviously, it doesn't get used as much when my dad had a lawn business. If you guys haven't are not familiar with my channel my dad had a lawn business growing up which i worked with him pretty much from the age of 13 all the way through college uh, this is one of the lawnmowers that i would use i had kept one of his other uh, x marks as well i sold that a couple years ago that was a pistol grip kind that kind was a little bit different than this one it did have the floating deck he did have right uh, standard lawnmowers as well he had a 36 inch and a 42 inch as well uh, he had sold them off when he came down here because he really didn't need them he has a under 5,000 square feet lawn that he, you know, he cuts once or twice, you know, once a week usually, um, if not maybe, you know, two, you know, every other week kind of thing. Um, the lawn really doesn't grow that much. It is a centipede lawn, um, but as you can see, lawnmower looks great. It runs great. Let me show you guys a little bit closer about this lawnmower. So like I was saying, this has the floating deck system. So it has a handle on this side and it has a handle on the other side of the deck as well. So it's really easy to adjust the height of your cut. All you gotta do is throw the flap down and then from here, all you have to do is put your hand right here. You're gonna lift up. You're gonna undo the the uh, cotter pin right here. Put the cotter pin back in to whatever height you want it at. So if I wanna do a height of three, you can do three here and then you have three here. Then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side, which is really easy because you have your handle over here. Just like that, you have three all the way around. So it's really easy to uh, yeah, adjust the height. Like I said, it is belt driven. As you can see down here, there is a belt that goes down here. And then we come up here, we have the Kawasaki engine. I am not exactly sure how big this engine is, but it still runs really great to this day. Obviously here, like I was saying, it is belt driven. So you have your belt right here, driving the back wheels right here. He did upgrade to an electric start right here. Makes it a lot easier than having to pull the ripcord every time. To start this thing, it's really easy to do. All you have to do, make sure you're in neutral, have the on, on. Well, this is an electric start, so it's a little bit different. But you wanna throw the throttle up. You wanna make sure you have here, you wanna make sure you have your brakes locked. And then all you have to do is twist the key now. It starts right up. So it's really easy to, to push the brakes off. Once you have it started, you wanna obviously put it in gear down here. There are five gears, five it being the fastest, one first gear being the slowest. So all you have to do, usually what I use is my fingers right here, throw that down, now it's unlocked. So if you let go here, the X mark's gonna go. From here, if you wanna brake, you hold the brakes both in at the same time. If you wanna go left, you let go of the left side. If you wanna go right, you let go of the right side. And if you just wanna keep going straight, you just let it go completely. Then once you get done, you wanna brake, you put it in the brake here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna throw that gear back down into neutral. And then if you wanna engage the blades, you have your blade engager right here. You just 
push down on this, your blades get engaged, throw this back up, and you're good to go. There are safeties on this. We, that's one thing we always harped on is making sure our safeties work. So if for some reason we're riding along here and we lose control, we let go. These safeties right here will shut that uh, engine off. We'll shut it in its tracks. It's really important to have your safeties on commercial equipment because you never know when you eat, you could fall off, trip, whatever. Uh, so you gotta make sure you have your safeties. These are really important to have. So the only other thing that I didn't point out, which I should have in the back right here, there is a pin. So if you wanna hook up a Velky system, that's something also you can do with the Xmar. Basically the Velky, it's two wheels and then you, there's a plate basically in the middle that you stand on. So if you do have a lawn business, I really suggest you look into a Velky system. Uh, obviously if you're just doing you know residential, if you're doing your house and it's not a super big lawn, I recommend people just walk. It's a good exercise to walk and cut the grass good cardio so look into that if you are thinking to switching to something like this a commercial mower and you have a big lawn it really does come in handy so that's pretty much it for a overview right here of the x mark metro um, i'm going to do a little mowing montage for you guys right now and show you guys how well it performs And there you guys have it, a little mowing montage with the Xmart Metro. I am sweating like bullets right now. It is very humid down here. It's been really hot all week, humid. So we're leaving tomorrow, going back to Jersey, getting ready for the fall overseed, but it's awesome to get back on that Xmart. Cut my dad's lawn down here. It feels like, like I said, it's just like riding a bike. You get on it, you know what to do. It's just awesome, great feeling. Uh, hopefully I get to do it next year as well. There you guys have it. That is the Xmart Metro. It is a 36 inch cut I forgot to mention that earlier Obviously 30 in 36 inch is very popular for a commercial made mower because it's easy to get in and out of gates for backyards So it's really cool that you know, obviously 36 inch is common But they do make a 30 inch walk behind Xmart does make a 30 inch walk behind There is another mower brand out there that makes a 30 inch walk behind as well So when I go to GIE this year I'm really curious to test those out to see how they are because it'd be cool to see, you know, some of these other brands get more popular for, uh, you know, homeowners. You do pay a little extra because they are commercial made, but they have a really nice cut. They last a really long time. So I'm curious to see how those test out when I go to GIE this year. If you have any questions or concerns on today's video, leave it down in the comment section below. And if you've enjoyed today's video or if you found today's video helpful, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. And if you're interested in any of my other content, I'm available on Instagram, I'm available on TikTok. Go check me out there. And like always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.